Okay, uh, let's come back. So, if you compare uh, some uh, countries' uh, specific uh, uh, compensation situation, uh, you can find a different hour uh, compensation cost, right? For production worker, right? So, uh, yeah, this uh, table just uh, provide uh, as the uh, the difference be, uh, between all these uh, different country uh, in terms of this uh, our pay, okay? And so, how to uh, how to uh, pay all employee across a uh, uh, border? Okay, one option is the use of the headquarter scale. Headquarter scale. A worldwide salary level are uh, established at headquarter with the differential for each affiliate uh, uh, subsidiary according to their differing cost of living, usually reserved for managerial and executive level position. Yeah. So uh, it's better to keep this uh, consistency right, among the many uh, uh, countries, right? Uh, uh, especially at this uh, executive level. Executive level, okay? However, a second option is to, uh, to base the salary scale on local geography. Local geography. The employees are basically paid on a local scale. Local scale. Uh, this another approach, a uh, uh, localized approach. Uh, and but I think the this uh, for the low level, low level, right? Low rank uh, employee. So the global approach is usually followed when there is a global labor market for a type of the talent sold, right? For oh, example, this is a software engineer, a nurse, a designer, and therefore it's of higher value because of a, spe a specific com a competency and shortage, okay? Uh, so for this uh, uh, a specific uh, competency, of the employee, you need to consider this a global approach. Okay. However, all local national above a certain level are placed on the headquarters scale with salary that are performance based, and uh, the rates of the employee are paid on a local scale. You know, Gme, Gme, right? The Gme TFLCD. Um, I think many Taiwanese uh, uh, high tech company, they want to attract and retain the China local talent, work for them. So if uh, this uh, local talent are promoted to the major level, right, they, uh, first they will uh, be, moved, be moved to Taiwan for uh, one month, three months, or six months, even SE, one year, uh, in SE, one year, okay. And um, that then can be integrated into the the corporate culture, and at the same time, they will provide uh, this uh, uh, global approach uh, conversation. No, uh, many high tech company uh, will uh, provide the the stock option for their manager uh, in headquarters. In headquarters, however, they cannot provide some option for China work uh, talent man, right? China manager, because uh, this uh, the tax law and right the, because your stock just uh, right uh, launched in Taiwan, not in China, right? So they cannot have this uh, stock option. However. Many company they will pay land, uh, pay land by exchanging to the uh, cash, to cash. Yeah. So if uh, this stock option t this year, ah, uh, the is the is value uh, is the twenty thousand. Okay, then I will, yeah. Uh, change this uh, 
the option to uh, 20,000 for China Thailand. Right? Yeah, so uh, they uh, pay on the headquarters scale. Okay, cool. oh. In many developing countries and uh, emerging market, where well, they tend to be more uh, skill level, right? So it's uh, common to have low pay, right? At all of the low job uh, classification, with very little differential between them, and then a major jump in competition only at the upper few classification, right? So this creates a situation where there can be a much greater ratio between time men and the low level employee. Okay. You know the situation, right? In the uh, developing country. Right? Mm, in this upper level, upper level uh, talent, even need to, to attract them and retain them in your company. Because the uh, uh, most capability, most capability was the uh, was the man, right? On on then, so if they leave, they leave this company, right? This subsidiary, oh, you you suffer lose, right? Nobody can manage it, all this the lower level employee. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, within these three years, because of the the lack, the lack of the the employee, you no, know, the lack of uh, a worker in China. So, uh, China, uh, many uh, companies in China, they start to automate, automate, right? To automate their manufacturing process. Automate, right? This kind of automation, right? Is the uh, difficult or easy? <laughs> huh? Huh? Difficult, right? Difficult. Automation. Uh, this Monday, I visit the Suzhou, right? The Suzhou uh, company. Uh, this company, uh. They manufacture what you know. They manufacture this. The, 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 yeah, they they manufacture this. Right, this. Uh, so you know, the, this. Uh, the plastic, the plastic framework. Um. Now, uh, because you know, there, are, there are many uh, spatial design you know, here, because if they want to uh, put this uh, frame, right, there are many uh, de uh, spatial design. So when they want to manufacture this uh, plastic, uh, plastic uh, uh, frame, oh, they need the worker, right? Worker to check uh, this whether uh, <coughs> the quality is work or not. Okay, you know only you know for this kind of uh, practical material, material, right? Okay, some sometimes uh, it will shrink. It will shrink if the water cannot be uh, well processed. It will become shrink during the manufacturing process. So the quality is very important. Very important. And so, but you cannot hire enough uh, worker to work for you now. So they, uh, within these three years, they start to uh, uh, establish this uh, automated automated uh, manufacturing plant, right? It's difficult because you need to hire a very uh, competent, you no, know, uh, manufacturing manager. Right, and this manufacturing head is very important, right? 
because you need to uh, design all the layout, all the layout, okay? And also you need to uh, ask this optimization engineer, right, to help you how to uh, establish this uh, new uh, plan. Right. So you need to hire the very capable uh, uh, manufacturing head. Manufacturing head. Two years ago, when I visited Mflex, Mflex, no, Mflex, uh, they all the the the, the panel, right? The, this the, the the panel, they put the chip, right, on the on the panel. <coughs> The, the the soft soft the panel inside, right? All the chip need to be put out. And when this company uh, in China want to automate their manufacturing process, they need to hire hire uh, HR head HR head. This HR head had a working experience in the high tech company. In the high tech, in TSNC, actually, he come from TSNC. So they pay then annual annually salary with the uh, nine million, nine million uh, anti dollar, nine million anti dollar, nine million anti dollar is uh, how much? Uh, how much US dollar? Uh, 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 yeah, mm. almost three hundred thousand, right? Three hundred thousand US dollar. Yeah, it's very high, right? The compensation is very high. And but uh, you know why he leave TSH, TSNG? TSNG give him the uh, the eight million any dollar <laughs> annual salary. Okay, so he did the TSNG and work there. Why pay so high compensation for this uh, HR head? Because he know how to manage many engineer, many engineer. Not only the worker, but many the engineer. It's uh, okay. Yep. So the second problem related to the gap in executive compensation of the senior manager or ME between countries, right? U.S. executive compensation is the highest the gap. Right? The U.S. executive, right? They are pay more, okay? Yep. And also, you need to consider this uh, global benefit. Right? The benefit includes uh, such offering as uh, health care, health care. Retirement program, pension, vacation, and holiday. In some countries, such as the U.S., healthcare is basically a private system paid for either by individual or their employer. You know, many foreigners want to uh, uh, start a company in USA, but it's very expensive for them to hire employee because of this uh, benefit. Okay, this uh, health care, right? Health care very very expensive, right? <laughs> so Obama want to reform this uh, right medical care uh, system. Uh, so not only the direct pay, but also it's indirect pay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, the, and the other uh, issue is the this uh, hour, right? Hour per year, right? Per person in employment. Uh, how many working hour, and how many day off? Okay. In different, it's different. Uh, in Taiwan. In Taiwan, uh, if uh, you hire, right, you hire an employee who work for you by more than one year, then you need to start pay the day off, right? 
after one year, seven day, right? Seven day. Okay. Okay. So any working hour are much higher in the Central and Eastern European country as uh, compared to Western mm -hmm. Europe. Yeah, I think most many Western European countries uh, working hour. Uh, no, are less than huh, than forty hours week, right? Weekly, forty hour, forty hour, forty hour. But in Taiwan, mm, many engineer they work <laughs> more than sixty hours weekly. It, it, it's Singapore is uh, city hour every week six day every day ten hour hmm? it's heavy right heavy loading for that it's the but TSNC TSNC uh, ask all the engineer cannot work more than 50 hour now you cannot do it Yeah. And some uh, issue of the holiday and vacation benefit, right? Uh, this uh, US, Canada, uh, New Zealand, and Japan are the developed country that provide uh, the shortest pay vacation time for employees, right? And each uh, granting an average of only 10 to 15 days a year. Uh, 10 to 15. And most firm best the amount of time uh, provided to employee on employees' uh, length of service. In China, ha, now, <laughs> uh, every week, every week, right, the work day is the five day, right? And two day vacation. So if we want to uh, ask, ask the employee work for you in the weekend, you need to pay double. Pay double. Yeah, pay double. Uh, so, ah, uh, many company they will arrange the working time to concentrate on this the weekday, okay? On the weekday. Yeah. And most of them uh, will have longer hour, working hours in uh, from the uh, uh, Tuesday to the Thursday or Tuesday to Friday so within these uh, three days the working hour will be longer uh, they will try to arrange this uh, working seat uh, yeah. and some country have a defined benefit plan right? pay a fixed uh, pe periodic uh, benefit upon retirement where other had a defined uh, this uh, contribution plan, okay? And some have a government social security system, while others had a different, okay? Yeah, I just uh, did it for you uh, to take a record. So, uh, about insurance, it depends on the location. The firm may also have to provide special uh, risk insurance, right? Well, in mid east, mid east, right? Mid east, okay. And the leaf, leaf. Approximately uh, two thirds of the old nation, including most industrialized country, right? They had a provision for pay and job protected maternity leaf. Maternity leaf. Yeah. Uh, in Taiwan, the maternity leave uh, for this uh, postnatal, right? Postnatal, uh, two months, two months. However, you can ask for leave uh, two years, <laughs> two years, but no pay, but two years. Uh, who pay you? The government. <laughs> uh, government pay you. Okay. 
And the flexible benefit, in essence, uh, employees are typically given choice, right? Up to a certain uh, dollar limit, yeah, among the serious options for their benefit. Yeah, uh, it uh, depends on the specific uh, situation uh, of the individual country, okay? Yeah, so this table just uh, show you all these uh, different type of uh, benefit program. Yeah. Um, now, uh, uh, let's uh, talk about this uh, the structure, benefit structure, okay? And qualitative uh, uh, parity is the commitment to offer something from each core category of benefit to every employee worldwide, okay? First, the core benefit, yeah. This, uh, all, all the company will pay in all the country, right? The basic item that the company commit to making available to all employees worldwide, so at a certain level of the health care, okay? And some is uh, the required benefit, a compensation item or non-cash benefit required by local law. This is a different, right? It's a different situation among the different country uh, by means of their uh, requirement of local law. And some is the recommended benefit, okay? This is a less uh, essential compensation or benefit program to be made at available for ever cost the uh, consideration permit such as a uh, life insurance, okay? And the last is the option benefit. Now, these are not required and uh, non-essential, right? This uh, compensation item to be made available if it's a uh, committed practice in the local market, such as local uh, transportation or meal support. The, uh, if you set up the factory in China, you should know the special situation for their medical care. Medical care, yeah. Uh, because uh, in China, the, the medical care cost is low. It's very low. However, uh, all the hospital cannot provide the quality, no, the quality uh, medical service. So, if you want to uh, attract the talent work for you, you need to provide the special medical care insurance, right? And help them uh, can go to the VIP, <laughs> VIP medical service. You know VIP? Uh, it's totally different not for the, the common uh, people, okay? So, yeah, it's very important because the quality of the medical service is not so good in China. Uh, but now, the government want to promote this uh, medical service and allow more and more uh, foreign countries' uh, hospital can invest there. No? And, uh, so now, uh, I think from this year, the China government had passed uh, this uh, uh, regulation right, and allowed more uh, Taiwanese uh, clinic, right? Uh, Taiwanese uh, doctor, right? They can uh, set up the clinic in China. 100% ownership, 100% ownership. And it's very good business. It's very good business. Almost every doctor set up the clinic in China can make a profit. A good, very good profit. Yeah. I just think through this uh, because many Taiwanese doctors cannot get the good pay, right? In Taiwan, because of our medical system, right? Our medical system. Our medical medical system ask all the doctor can only work forty hours a week. <laughs> if you work longer, no, no pay. You know, no pay. Yep. So now more and more Taiwanese doctor they want to <laughs> uh, work in China, right? And they uh, organize uh, one team, right? One team. And you know, every week, uh, you have a dentist 
yeah, we, uh, every week, uh, only three days, okay, three days, you can, well, in, you can, uh, from the, uh, the, uh, no, from the <laughs> Thursday to uh, the Saturday, okay, and the air flight, that is very convenient now, from Kaohsiung to Shanghai, yeah, very convenient. So every week, three day in Taiwan and three day in China, right? Yeah. It's a very uh, uh, common situation now. So think about this: how could salary disparity between local, national, and special be reduced? I will leave this question for you to discuss later. Okay. <coughs> And the last part of the, uh, this uh, chapter I will introduce to you for this uh, CMB strategy and policy for international manager, international learning. It's very important because many of you will be the international manager, okay? So you need to, come to know this uh, CMB uh, policy, uh, CMB compensation structure, okay? Uh, this must meet certain objective, providing an incentive to leave the home country for foreign assignment. And second, maintain a given standard of living. Right? And third, take, taking into consideration career and family need, and facilitating a re-entry into the home country at the end of the foreign assignment. <laughs> right? This, you need to consider this. Uh, so. Uh, what's the de determinant? Find the type of employee uh, population being relocated approach, right? It's uh, executive, right? Executive, uh, you need to uh, have a global leadership uh, experience, right? So an experienced uh, employee relocated for technical or uh, managerial skill, or a young or relatively experienced employee, right? The different type, work type. And find the purpose uh, or reason for international assignment. It's demand driven or learning driven. Remember this? Uh, demand driven uh, at a specific task, right? Ask you to complete, okay? However, uh, learning driven yeah, is for the young, right? The young talent, okay? So find the anticipated duration of the international assignment. The duration is the longer, right? Uh, more than three years, or just a short term. And what happened with the international dining at the end of assignment? Right, it will return to the home country, or uh, continue to stay. Right, to stay in in the uh, uh, in the foreign country, or host country. Right, or move move on to the third country. Right. So you know, 20 years ago, many Taiwanese companies, they set up a uh, manufacturing subsidiary in China. But within this three, uh, since uh, 2008, more and more of this uh, company, they transfer. Right? They move to, uh, to Vietnam, no, to Southeast Asia, yeah, so. So the third country. Phrase the uh, international dining living from and uh, going up, going to. Okay? And so far is the context of this country. Hmm? It's well established or just a developing. Okay, and about the, uh, the tax law uh, regulation. And first the peer of international dining, right? Because uh, in terms of this equity, right? They will compel. And find the overall cost of international assignment. Consider the benefit uh, derived from assignment to balance the cost. Okay, so when you consider this, yeah, you should know that there are four approach. First, negotiation. Yeah, negotiation. You mean that? Uh, Twenty years ago, Master Kang. Master can't use this negotiation. 
with the individual manager. You, you want to go? What do you need? Oh, you have many children? Okay, no problem, I cover you this, okay? But how about your, your uh, salary? Yeah, so this negotiation, right? Negotiation, okay? If I know, if I know you are, you, 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 you are very competent, right? Then I pay you more, okay? This is the negotiation. And the balance sheet, balance sheet means that all the international manager who come from the headquarter or come from any other company, uh, country, they can keep the same living standard. The same living standard from their country, right? So this is a balance sheet. Okay. And localization uh, is that depend on where you go. Where you go? If you go to, uh, if you go to United States from Taiwan. Oh yeah, it's better localized, right? Because USA the living expense is more expensive, right? Okay. Our approach, okay. So that uh, this negotiation use when they are few international dining, yeah, and not recommended as each negotiation become the best line for the next. Uh, yeah, this a uh, special situation. And so at the early stage of the going international, the firm send is best as per abroad, right? And per price it must to make it happen. Yeah. Uh, 26 years ago, the top uh, paper company, paper manufacturing company in Taiwan, Yong Hong Yu. Yong Hong Yu. Do you know the 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 e the e paper? E paper manufacturer, the number one e paper manufacturer, is a Taiwanese company. It belong to the Yonghong Yi Group. And, and 23 years ago, when this company went to set up the manufacturing site, uh, the first manufacturing factory in, in China, wow, at that time, it spent, uh, it spent uh, 100,000 US dollars. Uh, at that time, uh, for th this manager to travel, to travel in China, yeah, and try to find find a, an appropriate uh, place to set up to set up the manufacturing, the first manufacturing factory. Right? It's the top job. You know, you need to travel and uh, and. And negotiating with the local government, right? And uh, yeah, you need to check to review all uh, the living condition and the culture value, right? It's totally different uh, between Guangdong, Shanghai, and Beijing, right? Okay, so need to. And at that time, you just pay him lump sum, okay. So after three years, uh, he set up the first factory in Guangdong. <laughs> and second approach is the balance sheet approach. It's favor in the U.S. Right? Favor in the U.S. Uh, it, why? Because uh, uh, all the U.S. Uh, managers, they have very good uh, living condition in the right, United States. So they like this uh, home base home based approach, okay? So they can replication of the home light style in the home country. And based on the four components, okay? You can see that. Uh, I can let you know that. Because uh, when you stay in the home country, this is your salary, right? The income tax, the housing, goods and service, and discrimin uh, discretionary income, okay? So, uh, if when you uh, go to China, okay, the whole uh, location cost. If you want to keep the same living standing, oh, uh, the housing is very expensive, right? You know why? Because uh, you want to have the, the security, good security, right? Good security, so uh, very expensive, the housing in Shanghai, okay? 
okay, and a good in service, you want to keep the same standard uh, with the home country, it costs a lot, okay? So in this situation, uh, the against a code should share between the employee and the firm, yeah, you, you can consider this, yeah? So uh, you will pay, they will pay you more, right? pay you more, uh, this uh, increment, and then you can pay, right? You can have, you can keep the same standard. Uh, so they pay you more. And, and, uh, yeah, in addition, right? In addition, this uh, prem, uh, premiers and incentive, right? Want to motivate you to go, okay? Pay you more, yeah. So there are some uh, premium, right? The foreign premium, hardship premium, additional incentive. If the the Taiwan, uh, the China living condition is not so good, oh, they will pay you the hardship premium. Okay, how about India? <laughs> hardship premium. Okay. But uh, if you uh, want to uh, uh, work in USA. No, this uh, no hardship. <laughs> Very convenient, okay. And localization approach. The under localization international learning are paid compared to local national, and no equalizer uh, are provided except for some additional allowance. So these employees are usually are early in their career, eager for learning driven international alignment. Okay. Yeah. So many are. Uh, International student or many Taiwanese students, they want to have internship in China. Yeah, no position. They will not be uh, repatriated after the seven. Okay. And lump sum, right? Lump sum, this approach, okay? Uh, determine lump sum to cover all the major incentive and adjustment. Yeah. So, yeah, and I think uh, I stopped the lecture here and I want you to uh, discuss uh, this, the question about uh, how to uh, reduce uh, this uh, uh, dispatriate between local national and expatriate between, right? Uh, think about this situation. Uh, for a US manager, European manager, right? Uh, when you are assigned to work in China, why you are paid more than the local talent? So, how to manage in this situation to reduce this uh, disparity? Okay, think about it. Uh, what solution, what alternative uh, you can use? Okay, so please go to your group, okay, and to uh, this discussion, and then come back. 11. Oh, I give you 10 minutes, a short break, and then come back. 11.25, okay? Enough? 11.25? Come back, okay, please. You should consider, right, consider uh, uh, many uh, components, many determinants, okay, of your compensation. Right? Pay for job or pay for competence or pay for but 